thought I'd look a little different for the, for the intro than just a smile. Because I've noticed all of my videos start with this weird smile. And I, I'm, I'm not always happy, but <laughs> anyway, this was going to be my uh, rant about Trump and how Trump uh, is the is so much like how history repeats itself and Trump is a, a lot like Hitler, but I think he's not so much like Hitler as he was, as he's like uh, King Henry the Sixth, right? Uh, and then I realized, who cares about that? And I'm tired of hearing about Trump and how how you know. I mean, that doesn't mean I'm gonna I'm gonna stop fighting against ideologies that I really dislike and that are bad. I think for the country. And, um, you know, obviously I don't like Trump. And, uh, but, you know what? Every day, <laughs> I mean, who can keep up, right? So, um, I'm still going to do my party. You know, I'm going to vote, you know, all that kind of stuff. But I thought, you know, screw that. There's so much out there about, uh, you know, you can find on YouTube or cable or blogs. And I said, uh, you know, I've got my... Uh, a 75,000th subscriber now. <laughs> I've got my 10th subscriber. Uh, I don't want to hear about that. Who cares? Anyway, look up uh, King Henry the Sixth if you're interested. Uh, do a little research and uh, tell me if you don't think there's some similarities. But what I want to talk about is how amazing it is uh, in this day and age to uh, be able to... I, I'm kind of... I'm really lucky because... You know, at my age, people are still kicking their asses uh, to work. And, uh, I mean, I'm sick, obviously. And I don't feel good, but, you know, I've got it pretty, pretty easy when it comes to, if you think about it. I mean, the, so much of the world can barely get food on their table. And I can't keep food out of my mouth. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's terrible. And then to think, uh, you know, it's so easy for people to complain about how how things are bad right now and I've lived long enough to actually remember when things were bad before and things are bad now and I, I really think they're bad now but you know there's so much out there to learn and I'm really lucky I've got all this time where I can I can sit and learn new things and what I noticed when I was younger was that I never believed that old people ever learned anything new uh, and I guess either I was really wrong or I just didn't notice or, or, or the people, the older folks that I was around didn't care about learning things, but it's so easy now. See, if, if back in the, in the 1970s when I was young <laughs> or younger, uh, uh, there wasn't an internet. I mean, you had your five channels on TV, you know. And once a year, Gone with Wind would play on TV and The Wizard of Oz. And then around Christmas, it would be, uh, uh, you know, It's a Wonderful Life and the Charlie Brown specials. And, you know, you had to actually go to a library to read a book. And now you can listen to a book uh, on audio and uh, half of them are on YouTube. And, uh, you know, uh, audio books that are on YouTube. And it's like, things are so different now. And uh, there's so much out there to learn. I mean, it's amazing. If you really want to learn, if you really don't, if you want to get outside your comfort box, you know, if you want to listen to things that maybe, uh, you know, you're not too comfortable with, but you think, okay, I'm going to listen to this and, and give it a, you know, and then you, can, then you can make a decision. But, you know, right now it seems like everybody just wants to hear what they they agree with, you know, if, uh, uh, you know, uh, now I have to admit, I generally don't head towards the fat, flat earther, um, <laughs> YouTube videos. Uh, I'm sorry. I do have a limit on, uh, maybe it's someday I'll check one out, but, uh, I just, uh, it's a little beyond, uh, beyond the pale for me. So, but what I would like to encourage people is, I mean, a lot of things that were, inundated with you know facebook uh, and uh, you know uh, people on the far left and people on the far right and um, all, all these things 
there's so much else going on in our universe right now. I mean, in our, I mean, scientific discoveries like I, I just amaze me. Uh, you know, uh, biological, genetics. I mean, uh, you know, I, you know, I could find out. Uh, you know, that I, I, when I was young, I, we were taught. The, um, well, we weren't taught. We were we were told by my my parents and stuff. Uh, you know, oh, on my dad's side, there was Native American, you know, uh, blood. And on my mom's side, there was uh, Jewish blood. And, of course, I took a DNA test, and there's uh, neither of those things. <laughs> In my head, there, there's Neanderthal. We've got that. You know, uh, I am, by the way, and many of you may have assumed this anyway, 1.5% of my DNA is Neanderthal DNA. So somewhere back in our history, uh, uh, one of my relatives had a little, uh, had a cup, uh, some interactions with a few Neanderthals. So uh, thanks, uh, 50,000 year ago grandparent, whoever you were for, uh, you know, and, um, you know, most, most people, well, you know what's interesting? is the group of people, I guess, and this is something I've learned, the group of people with probably no Neanderthal are people with the most African uh, heritage. So uh, that that's interesting, right? Uh, so they're like, uh, the people with an average African lineage or strictly in certain parts of Africa have no Neanderthal. They probably, uh, obviously they were not interacting with Neanderthals or uh, because Neanderthals of course when when Homo, Homo sapiens and Neanderthals work together uh, unlike the Danuvians and I guess a, a lot of Asians had Danuvian ancestry too am I wrong about that not sure but so my people were very Scandinavian and uh, British Isles and um, you know upper uh, or northern Europe and uh, and they were finding that every time I, you know, every six months or so, I get more information on, uh, and they're they're we're finding more and more, and I think that's fascinating to me. So, uh, but uh, anyway, there's so much we can learn. You know, I'm learning so much about uh, um, all sorts of things. And what's amazing is I had the time to do it. So, you know, a lot of people don't. A lot of people are barely getting by, working. Uh, two two jobs. I mean, I, you know, when I was a teenager, you know, sure, I had a an, a, my first apartment was with the uh, two, uh, the first apartment I moved into was with two two gay uh, guys, and I don't remember much about them except that they had a bird, and I had my own room, and uh, they were old though; they were like in their twenties, so. <laughs> But, so I didn't have much interaction with them, but I had a cool apartment, boy, you know, with a sauna and a pool and my own room and some weird bird that would scream at me because it was a big one, a macaw or something. And, you know, and then I lived on my own. Sometimes I would have my own place. Uh, and I was not, I mean, this was not, I mean, I was not that old. You know, sometimes I would live with like nine people, but as, you know, early on it, would, it was pretty wild. But there are other times I had my own apartment, and I could afford that with one job. You know, in, in Southern California, can you imagine, right? And it was not considered a high-paying job. I mean, you know, but my rents were, you know, I could afford it. I mean, a lot of times, if I wanted to move up to a really nice place, I had to have a roommate or something. But I could handle it even if I didn't have a roommate. You know, two bedroom, two bath, apartment in Anaheim Hills, California, furnished, six hundred a month. Uh, central air, pool, jacuzzi, sauna, weight room. I looked up the same apartment uh, today. Uh, the same complex and everything. The uh, same layout. Uh, it's just gotten older, the trees are bigger and stuff, but $2,700 a month. Uh, yeah, now that's a, that's a, that's a big chunk of income. You're supposed to spend about a, 
a third of your income on housing all right so that starts to get up there in the bucks you have to to be making you know what nine thousand dollars a month that that's that's a pretty good change for somebody and when I moved in there I was uh, I don't know maybe 20 just 19 I think it was 19 that mean I had a you know so I mean that's a, most 19 year olds in Orange County aren't making a hundred thousand or a hundred ten thousand dollars a year you know and uh, I sure wasn't making the equivalent of that back in 1979 dollars uh, you know but that's how it goes so there's a lot out there that we don't have to focus on always the negative there's so much new and interesting things. I mean, if you're into learning about the cosmos, you can go and learn about that. If you if you don't know a term, you know, you can Google it and then you can find somebody on YouTube that will explain it. If you don't know <laughs> which pole on your battery to put put the, the jumper cables, you can go on YouTube and, and you can find that. You don't have to ask your, your you know, your granddad. I mean, it doesn't matter. There's so much, it's just amazing to me. I mean, in my day, there weren't computers in libraries. You had you had a card file, and you'd have to look it up, you know, by, <laughs> I don't know, you know, there was a Dewey Decimal System. And I don't know if anybody knows what the Dewey Decimal System is today. I don't know, you know. I mean, people my age do, but. I just I just went on online to a local uh, university library and looked up uh, newspapers from the 1800s, uh, and with <laughs> okay, that's uh, pretty cool. I mean, I thought it was cool when there was microfilm, and then microfiche, and then when the internet came along, there was a gopher client. Oh, uh, look it up. You'll have to Google it. Some of you. And there was telnetting, and I had a 1,200 baud modem. My first one was a 300 baud, 300 baud modem. So, and that cost me a couple hundred bucks. The first hard drive, well, I didn't even have a hard drive. The first one was tape drive. And then I'm old enough to remember when floppy drives, so you may not even know what a floppy drive is now, but when floppy drives were actually floppy. And then they came these little three and a half inch, you know, not so floppy, but they were still called floppy drives. It's amazing. Technology is amazing. I, I'm able. I'm able to be, a, you know, be aware of this right now. It's just remarkable. It doesn't matter what you want to find out. What you want to learn about. It's out there. You know, don't always take a take a step back from, you know, watching Fox News or CNN or MSNBC. Um, it, oh, but check out Al Jazeera if you really want some good news. Al Jazeera, English. Al Jazeera, yeah. That's, that's pretty good. But step back from those stories. Get out of the, get out of your comfort zone. Look, or, or find something you're really interested in and focus on it. Learn something new. It sure makes my life pretty fun. Uh, pretty fine. I'm not gonna. I'm, I, I don't like to cuss online. I'm old. Anyway, so that's my Trump, Hitler, King Henry the Sixth. <laughs> a talk. Oh, not what you expected, huh? Have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye.